So as we start forces, let's do a little bit of a review on our units, our dimensions, our symbols. Starting back from kinematics, we had time, which was typically given a symbol of T, and it had a dimension that we used just as capital T with a standard metric unit of seconds. We then have things like positions and displacements, and a position might be an X or a Y or something like that. It has a dimension of length and a standard of meters. We then added to our list velocity, general symbol of V. That always had a length per time, and that was a unit of meter per second. Now, our acceleration, given a symbol A, was a length per time squared with a standard unit of meters per second squared. Now we add force. Now force is generally given a symbol of a capital F. How do we know what its dimensions and its units are? Well, if I use our dimensional analysis, we come back to what our equation says. Equation is force is mass times acceleration. Well, in order to figure out the force, that means we also need to know something about mass. So let's add that to our chart. And again, typically as a symbol of m. Well, it's a new type of dimension. It's not a length or time or combination of those things. It actually has capital M, mass, as being one of the fundamental properties. And its standard metric unit is a kilogram. So once we've got that line in there, now we can come back and do an analysis here on our dimensions of our F equals MA equation. The dimensions for force that we don't know yet is a combination of the dimension of mass times the dimensions for acceleration, length per time squared, so that means what I have to have is a mass times length per time squared. Now if we take a look at the basic units for that, that's going to be a kilogram meter per second squared. This is our broken down in terms of our basic metric quantities. That unit is also given a new name called a Newton. So one Newton is one kilogram meter per second squared. So Newton is really a combination of these other base units, and those other base units leads back to what our dimensions have to be, and we can confirm those dimensions based on our equation.